Hello, good morning, welcome back to Vanessa's Tally Vlog. So, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, um, I am going to tell you some things about my new career, which is 5 1 Talk. And uh, if you guys wanted to apply in 5 1 Talk, let me uh, guide you or let me help you because um, I did it by myself. Uh, so, if if I can then I know you you will also so um, first thing and foremost of course you must know what is 5-1 talk so 5-1 talk is belong to a company of ESL so English second language so in 5-1 talk we mostly uh, teach young learner from China and 5-1 talk is originally from Hong Kong but uh, we don't teach only not from Hong Kong but around China so there were lots of provinces in China so I uh, expect now we will and we must speak in English uh, it may not be that fluent but it can be uh, understandable ganon, and then um, unique uh, we must be cheerful of course because we're going to teach young learner so, young learner, ibig sabihin, mga young kids from 1 to 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 years old like that. So, um, we must be very cheerful, creative, lively, ganyan. So, yun. To start you with, if you wanted to apply in 5 one Talk, you must, uh, you must or you can go to uh, Google Chrome, search for 5 one Talk. Aron madaming suggestions don and you have or you can choose one any of them tapos click nyo lang and then may maka, may nakalagay don na apply so apply lang and then sa Facebook then kasi sa Facebook ako unang nag-apply so apply lang and then mag ano sila mag mag reply sa yo through Messenger and then ayun uh, follow mo lang yung kanilang mga mga requirements and then first thing to do is um, the initial interview so the initial interview I think just just 5 minutes or less kasi itatanong lang nila yung mga personal information mo your, your educational attainment ganyan and then they'll ask you to sing depende na lang kung ano yung ipapakanta sa'yo but don't worry it's a nursery rhyme so ako i pinakanta nila ako ng ABC so it's okay to look stupid no it's not stupid parang bagets lang bata lang parang matat matutuwa matatawa ka sa sarili mo kasi why am I singing this song at this age you know but you must kasi you need it for um applying in 5 one talk kasi kung hindi ka kakanta hindi ka rin naman matatanggap so uh, A, B, C, D of course alam mo naman kung anong A, B, C, D diba? so yun kantain mo lang sa kanila and if the interviewer uh, like the way you sing di tanggap ka na and then they, they're gonna schedule you for another phase of the application which is the technical check so in technical check they're going to check the specs and the ability of your internet so they're going to ask you to provide computer or a laptop na pasok sa kanilang specs of computer so hindi lahat ng computer pasok guys kailangan yung latest yung mataas yung ram nya ganyan and then your internet speed so, hindi pwede sa kanila yung 1, 2, 3, at least 10 Mbps, guys. So, sobrang bilis nyan. And, luckily, we have 30 Mbps. So, pasok na pasok siya. And then, we bought a new uh, personal computer. So, pasok din siya. And then, of course, you have to provide a noise cancellation headset. Katulad nito. Marami namang brand, pero I think one of the ano the best brand for non non for the noise cancellation headset is the Logitech. I, I bought this in Alabang I think I, I I kind of I kind of forgot but this worth 15. Maybe today uh, ano mas mura na siya or mas mahal kasi ano na marami na nag apply sa home base diba so maraming bumibili ng ganito pero I think this is one of the best ano 
noise cancelling headset ganun and then uh, you must have white background ganito kailangan white eh you, you can use white cloth pero make sure na hindi siya gusot-gusot and then hindi rin naaalon umaalon yung tela so kailangan plain na plain siya maganda siya and then ayan maglagay ka lang ng konting arte arte eh since I am a newly hired teacher Ayan, nagtanggal pa ako ng ano, alikabok. Eh, since I am newly hired teacher, I am required to have a tarpaulin na tarpaulin na, na, na may mga logo na ng ganito, ng ganito. Kaso, um, nung nagpa-print ako, I have to wait for 2 to 3 days bago makuha yun. And since uh, meron na akong open book for now, kaya ang ginawa ko, ganito na lang muna. Pero as long as dumating na yung aking tarpaulin, is ilalagay ko na yon kasi meron silang required na backdrop design and then so ang dami ko nang sinabi after the initial interview the uh, technical check na girl so after technical check and then pumasa ka sa mga ganito sa requirements mo meron yun ano uh, zoom meeting so iso zoom meeting kayo and then itatanong lang sa inyo kung ano yung mga tinanong rin sa inyo yung educational attainment and then uh, they'll gonna ask you to provide a, a baby a baby or a staff toys or anything na makakapagpaano sa bagets kaya you have to provide like this and then even yung mga headdress meron ako nun eh Oh, nasa ano namin, nasa console area so yun, and then um, after the zoom meeting sasabihin sa inyo na ang susunod nyo gagawin is the OPS or the uh, OPS ba tawag doon? tama, POS <laughs> parang PSO pala, PSO uh, which is the pre-service orientation. So, yun. I-orient nila kayo kung anong mga do's and don'ts sa so 5-1 talk. So, don't worry. Walang bumabagsak sa PSO. Pero, PSO will uh, took 3 hours. I think, three, yes, 3 hours. 2 to 3 hours. And then, wala lang. Magmimiting lang kayo sa Zoom. Ganon. And then, but guys, kung ang inyong uh, schedule for PSO is 1.30, you must be online um, 1 p.m. Kasi meron siyang mga uh, instructions na gagawin mo bago yung ano yung exact na oras ng inyong PSO. So, you must be online 30 minutes before the call time. And then, after the PSO, uh, papipili na kayo kung anong oras nyo gustong mag-NTT or mag-NTT mac demo. So, um, ako kasi, ang, ang schedule ko before is 12.30 in the afternoon. So, yun yung napili kong oras. Ikaw naman yung mamimili and then ikaw din naman mamimili kung anong araw kung gusto mo kinabukasan or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's up to you. Yun. So, and then after kung may schedule, you just have to wait for the NTT and before entering the NTT, dapat tapos mo nang sagutan yung kanilang NTT service training. Kaya meron, basta may mga link silang kailangan mong pasagutan dapat 100% yon and then yung requirements mo dapat na submit mo na and then yung tag nito yung high five basta dalawang link kasi yon na kailangan yung sagutan na dapat 100% ganon makikita niyo naman doon sa ano sa instruction ng trainer nyo kung ano yung mga kailangan yung sagutan and then kung saan niyo isasubmit yung mga requirements and then after that, di mag na kayo for your NTT. Halimbawa, tomorrow is your NTT around 12.30. You must be online 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Ganon. And then, syempre, kasi ibibigay na nila sa'yo, after, right after your PSO, ibibigay na nila sa'yo yung mock demo ng ano, yung oo, yung demo ng mock nyo, mock demo nyo. Yun, practice nyo guys. Kasi yun yung pinakamahirap na parte. Kasi, it's passed or failed. So, pag bumagsak ka sa demo, wala, back to norm, back to zero ko ulit, mag -re reapply ka after 31 days, after a month. And then, uh, kailangan mo lang siyang practicing, practicing, and practicing, and then, uh, talk slowly, and then, 
um, practice your TH kasi doon din naman ako nahirapan yung TH. The, that, this, ganun, there, uh, together, three. It's not three, it's three. Ganun. And then, you must talk slowly talaga kasi uh, we're gonna teach young learner from China. Kasi ako, ang bilis ko talaga magsalita during my mock demo and thank God kasi uh, pinaulit niya kasi ako kasi ang bilis ko daw magsalita so pinaulit niya ako and then luckily pinasan niya naman ako and then after mock demo uh, mock demo guys or NTT is 8 um, hours siya 8 hours siya and then pag pumasa ka sa NTT meron pa kayong gagawing onboarding onboarding ba? Tama ba? No it's ano, it's uh, training. Training naman, but it will not took a lot of time. I think one hour is okay. Training kasi, isasabihin niya kung ano yung mga tabu, yung mga hindi mo dapat i-discuss during your class. And then, um, after that, um, i-schedule niya na kayo for CE or Chinese evaluator. So, magde-demo ulit kayo in front of the Chinese evaluator who gonna pretend your student. So, yun. Siya naman ang mag-grade sa inyo. And, um, some Chinese evaluator give chances like, okay, you repeat your demo on Tuesday and Monday. Pero, some Chinese evaluator na babagsak yan. So, uh, kailangan natin seryosohin yung demo. And then, Yeah, hindi natin mapigil ang kabahan kasi ako nga masyado akong kaba na kinakabahan eh. Pero, uh, try to conquer kasi as much as I wanted and I did everything I can to conquer my nervousness and ayun, na-conquer ko naman siya. And then, uh, after that, na na-conquer ko siya, Pumasa naman ako as, ano, thank you Lord. Pumasa naman ako after my Chinese evaluator. And then, um, the Chinese evaluator will send you a message regarding your onboarding. So, onboarding yun, yung process pa after Chinese evaluator demo. My onboarding pa and, uh, onboarding is 3 hours. 3 hours ulit na onboarding. Sa onboarding naman, may pinapasagutan pa rin dun, guys. Kailangan 100% dun. But don't worry kasi multiple choices siya. Pwede mo siyang ulit-ulitin kung mali. Ganon. Hula-hula na lang, girl. And then, uh, after your onboarding, you're gonna wait for the message from 5-1 Talk if your uh, teacher account is now active. And then, wait also for the message from 5-1 Talk stating that um, you have a welcome call from uh, around 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Attend daw yun, guys. I-attend kasi uh, we, girl, uh, we girl, we deserve to be welcome in 5-1 Talk kasi doon tayo i-welcome as a newly hired teacher in 5-1 Talk. So, meron ako na-receive kaninang umaga. Kahapon may na-receive akong message from 5-1 Talk saying that my teacher's account is now active. So, in-open ko siya and then yun, pwede na akong mag-open ng slots for bookings. So, pwede na akong magturo, ganyan. And then, kaninang umaga naman, around 9am, I receive a message stating that um, we have a Zoom meeting at around 11.30 in the morning for welcome call. So, yun, I'll going to attend that one. I'll be going to attend that one, so... I close muna my slots in the morning and nag-open lang ako from 1 to 9 p.m. I hope na kahit isa meron akong uh, mabook, may mag-book sa akin ng isang estudyante today para ma-practice ko na on how to make a lesson memo and then Uh, yun, syempre, ma-practice na kung ano yung mga pinag-aralan natin during our uh, trainings, our demo, ganyan. So, um, yun lang. Uh, and then, guys, uh, do not stop praying. If you really, really, really wanted this job, do not stop praying kasi if you deserve and if God wants you to be there, you can make it, you can do it. Kasi ako, guys, this is my second time to apply in 5-1 Talk. Um, I failed the first one which is the NTT mock demo kasi girl, parang nakakakaba kasi 
uh, 17 kasi kami before tama ba 17 or 20 20 kami before and then of course they're gonna see you uh, they're watching you uh, nagde-demo ka so parang napaka kinakabahan ako nung una so napaparong grammar na ako and then I talk fast ganyan so I failed the mock demo so I waited for one month actually uh, wala na akong balak no na mag reapply in 5-1 talk kasi it's kinda hurt kasi it is my first time to apply in ESL company and although I really wanted to be part of any ESL company before so but um, 5-1 talk is really the easiest ano uh, easiest ESL company mag-apply I think uh, kasi I tried rare job basta yung, I, I, I don't have to elaborate alam nyo na yung mga yun and then parang sa 5-1 talk very accommodating very fast ganun so Um, yan, bumagsak ako nung una so I decided to apply in any in other part of career which is a call center, napakahirap din pala nun, so I passed in Alorica ganyan, pero office based kasi sila, so hindi ko alam basta dumating na lang yung month na ay yung days na, oh one month na pala akong ano, um wala ay na one month na pala ako since nung nag-apply ako sa Five One Talk. So let me try again my luck, sabi ko. So nag-apply ulit ako and then so on and so forth pum- pumasa na ako, pumasa nang pumasa and then ayun. Ngayon um newly hired teacher na ako although hindi pa ako nakapagturo for my official student for the first time is at least pumasa na ako and, I, and I'm given the chance na to mag- na magturo sa Five One Talk. So if I can, I know you can also. So, yun lang guys. Uh, if you wanted to know pa more about 5-1 Talk, don't be shy or don't hesitate to comment down below or just add me on my Facebook, Vanessa Asis Bilardo. And then, send me a message there and I can guide you. Guys, nalaman ko kahapon din pala kasi I have a friend from Hong Kong na yung daughter niya is teaching in 5-1 Talk also. And then, sabi niya, yung anak niya daw, meron silang trainer para mag-apply nun. Kasi, yung school, parang St. Augustine, is ano pala sila, uh, accredited, accredited ng 5-1 Talk. So, merong area doon na lahat ng teacher na yon is nagtuturo ng 5-1 Talk. Aside from teaching lessons na yung regular lessons from dito sa ating country. So, sabi ko, ah, meron din pala nun. So, mas madali yun para sa kanila kasi nga may nagtuturo na kung ano na yung mga dapat nilang gawin. But for me, I did it by my own kasi hindi ko naman alam na may ganun pala. So, if you wanted to do it by your own also, don't be afraid or don't be shy to comment or message me on how to apply in 5-1 Talk. Okay? Thank you guys for watching my vlog and my video today. Bye!